After turning down an opportunity to become the highest paid closer in the history of baseball, New York Yankee free agent David Robertson is looking for Papelbon money over multi-years. I'm Jim Basswell with the latest ESPN headlines. We are joined on the phone by ESPN senior Major League Baseball writer Jerry Krasnick. Jerry, again, the Yankees offer him a contract that would have been $15.3 million for one season next year. He opts against that to test the open market. Jonathan Papelbon got a deal with the Phillies. Ultimately, it'll work out to five years worth $63 million for Papelbon. So what is the market for David Robertson? Well, we'll see, Jim, but, you know, I, you can't blame him, obviously, for asking. But I think when you turn down $15.3 million, then you have to aim high because people will say, well, why did you turn down that $15.3 million? Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I think he might be challenged to get anything like that, uh, especially when you look at the way some teams have been able to fill their uh, closer voids for a lot less money. And as much as Jonathan Papelbon uh, – He's actually been a pretty good performer over the duration of his contract. But for a lot of it, the Phillies have been trying to maybe deal him sure. to trim payroll because uh, they have Ken Giles, who's a young pitcher, who could fill that role for a fraction of the cost. Uh, the Yankees have Dylan Batantas, right. who could uh, fill that role for a fraction of the cost. So I think teams are less inclined to pay 12 to $14 million a year now for guys who might only wind up pitching 60 innings a season. Yeah, to date, he, the highest paid closer, Mariano Rivera, his former teammate, $15 million. It's funny that they bring up Papelbon money because it's interesting because he had a five, ultimately it'll be a five-year, $63 million deal. And while he has performed, how much does do other teams kind of take a, take a break and pause a little bit on giving closers that kind of money over long-term years because there are very few Mariano Rivera's who year in, year out perform at the highest level. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, he's out in the market now with a guy like Andrew Miller, you know, who has been a setup guy and, you know, definitely has potential to be a closer and probably isn't looking for that kind of money. Um, and so his market could get undercut by certain people. I, I think he's going to be very challenged to get a deal uh, remotely close to that. Um, just because, you know, as we said, you can develop a kid on the farm sure. who comes up and throws 98 or 100 miles an hour. Look at, uh, you know, the, the Royals. They had uh, Greg Holland emerge as a great closer, and they have Wade Davis behind them who could also be a closer. Um, and these guys come from different places. Sometimes they're failed starters. Sometimes they're, uh, uh, you know, kids on the minors who don't have much experience but throw hard and acclimate to that role so I, I just think it's very difficult to expect any team to commit to a four-year 50 plus million dollar contract if you're a closer free agent he's espn senior major league baseball writer jerry krasnick jerry thanks for the insight thanks jim again david robertson coming off a season where he was four and five in era at 3.08 he saved 39 of his 44 opportunities you can read more about this story right here on ESPN.com. With the latest ESPN headlines, I'm Jim Basquiat.